Hi, this is the Super Mario Brothers X level editor, version 1.3. Yeah. So what is it, and why am I showing you it? Well, let me tell you. Right now I'm using the, I think the, the world editor, yeah. So what the world editor is, it edits the overworld map, so you can, uh, you know, place levels on it, such as the ones from Super Mario World, or stuff from Super Mario Bros. 3, like a toad house, or a castle, or the spade house, or the card. It's not the end card, but it's, you know, you get the spade house, and even the start thing. Of course, you have to edit, like, oh, how do things exit, how do things work. You know, it's all, it's all kind of technical, and I haven't done anything for it uh, very much. I'm just kind of showing it off. Uh, you can change the music. I don't know why it's doing that right now. Maybe you can change the music for where you go. That'd be kind of interesting. Settings, paths, scenery, everything you could possibly want. And you can erase. And it makes appropriate sounds. So let's go to the level editor. It's pretty much the same deal, except you get everything from one to world, all the four games, uh, one through three are in the style of, you know, uh, All-Stars, obviously, and the game plays closer to Super Mario Bros. 3 in terms of the physics, however, you can spin jump, and you have the item carrier up at the top of your screen, like, uh, if you get a fire flower and then you get a, a feather, can you, I don't even know if you can get feathers, you probably can, you can get... I think you can get pretty much all the items from all three games uh, that have different items. So, well, no, only two games have different items because one has uh, every item. Three has all the items in one and two, but World has obviously different items. Anyway, it'll store the item up at the top just like in World. Um, yeah, uh, there's some stuff. You, you got stuff from Zelda and Metroid, and you can upload your own uh, textures if you want. I mean. That's pretty cool. And it's got different backgrounds, so... Oh, these aren't what I was thinking. Uh, this is like background objects. What I was thinking was, in level settings, you can have these kind of backgrounds from uh, tons of games, and you can set the music. And it comes with a lot of different uh, songs. Oh, whoops. From all the different games. But, it's also got a bunch of miscellaneous ones, and you can change the background, see Mother Brain, and Brinstar, and none. You know, tons of great stuff here. It's two players, which is pretty cool. Two players simultaneously. So it kind of, if you've ever played, uh, uh what, oh, what's it called? Told Jam and Earl. It's got a very similar style to where if you're on the screen at the same time, it's just one big screen. But if you guys move too far away from each other, it splits into two screens and you guys see your own individual screen, which I thought was really cool. Um, yeah, I'm just going to let uh, that keep playing. Got, you know, enemies, but they don't necessarily have to be evil. You can make them say stuff, you can make them friendly, you can toggle that. And uh, there are some interesting things, you know, obviously you've got doors and whatnot, but you can play as Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, I think, I think Toad, and uh, even Link. Now, I don't remember exactly how to get to their uh, stuff, but anyway, there's Link. But you can see, uh, it's pretty cool. There's a lot of uh, options here. Got battle games. I don't know what that is. Uh, but anyway, that's that's Super Mario Brothers X level little level, level editor. Um, why am I showing you this? Well, um, because it's pretty cool, and because a friend of mine made a game for the editor. There is a game that comes with it called. Super Mario Brothers X, 
but I'm not going to be looking at that because my friend said, hey, you know, I made this with the editor, would you, would you play it, would you do a recording, and I said, uh, sure. So, we'll get to that here in the next video, so uh, thanks for watching, uh, really appreciate it, um, and we'll see you next time.